Hi guys and welcome to another IBM BPM technical tutorial. I got something to show you. In this example, we're going to be looking at a technology called Node-RED. Now, Node-RED has nothing to do with BPM. Node-RED is a technology which is usually associated with the so-called Internet of Things department, but its purpose in life is to be able to visually wire together the flows of incoming messages, route those through uh, transformation commands, and then interact with back-end systems. So once Node-RED is installed, it's free to download, it's open source, runs on Node.js. Once it's downloaded, one can define various sources of input, for example an HTTP request or MQTT or raw sockets, and then when the request gets activated, we can process the incoming message through a variety of functions written in JavaScript and other languages uh, that allow us to convert the content. And then finally, we can output the data, perhaps as a response to the original incoming message, or even a new request out to some other backend system. So that's the purpose at a very, very high level of Node-RED. Now let's think about that in terms of BPM. Imagine we have a business process and a step in that business process needs to interact with some back-end system. Maybe it wants to make a REST request, maybe it wants to make a web service request, maybe it wants to write a file in the file system, maybe it wants to interact with a database. The list goes on and on and on and on. As part of the Node-RED environment, out of the box, you're given a bunch of different interaction components. Emails, databases, file systems, REST requests, and the list goes on. But beyond the ones supplied out of the box, there are many, many, literally hundreds more. Hundreds more. So, in principle, if we could invoke a Node-RED solution, or flow as it's called, this thing is called a flow, if we can invoke a Node-RED flow from within the context of a BPM process, that Node-RED flow could own the technical communications to the backend systems to get the job done. For example, imagine we wanted to, as a step in a process, send an email. We could imagine a BPM process invoking Node-RED, and Node-RED formats the message correctly and communicates with the email server. Or perhaps we want to invoke a REST request, we send a, node, uh, a message to a Node-RED flow, and the Node-RED flow invokes the backend REST service provider. We have the capability to route based on content, do all kinds of content transformation, etc., etc. So, to make this work with IBM's BPM, there's many ways that we could send a message from BPM into Node-RED. The one that I like is using this plugin node for Node-RED, which is a SOAP server. When you install this node, in your Node-RED environment, what you end up with is a new building block. It's called a SOAP server node. And you look at the properties on this, it gives us, allows to give us a name and specifies the TCP IP port number which this node will listen on. So what does that node do for us? Well, in a BPM environment, we can include a web service integration component. And in the web service integration component, we can point the web service to the URL which corresponds to the running Node-RED input flow. So in this example, I'm connecting to port 8001. And if we look at my configuration here, it's 8001 that the node is listening to. With that configured, nothing more, just put in that URL and hit the discover, we find that we have an operation called start flow. And the input parameter to start flow is a string. That could be a JSON encoded string or just a simple text string, but it's a string. And when this operation on the WSDL defined SOAP service completes, a string is returned. So when we call this invoke service component, think about passing in a string and getting a string as output.
Now let's map that to node red. We get as output of this node a string. This is the string that was passed in from your BPN message flow. We treat it as a JSON string. We decode the JSON string. Again, this is through the building blocks of node red. This then gives us the string converted to its object format, and the object format will contain two numbers. It will contain a number in the variable in1 and the number in in2. So we supply an object with two numbers, and in our message flow, we then add those numbers together. So I create a response, I call it result, which is the arithmetic sum of in1 and in2, and then say that's going to be the new payload. Then the flow takes that JSON or that JavaScript object, turns it back into a JSON string, and then sends the string back as the SOAP response. We also debug it to the console just to see that it's working. Back in the BPM flow, when we execute the response, or when we get the response back from the uh, from the uh, uh, Node Red environment, we decode the return JSON string back into its numbers and we show the result values. So let's go ahead and run this. If I run this message flow, hit the run, boom, that's the end of that uh, flow. And if we look in Node Red, we'll find that Node Red has shown me that it was invoked and add got the two numbers 10 and 12 and returned 22. If we look on my output of my BPM environment, we see the message 10 and 12 is 22. So let me prove that's working. Let me go back into my service. Let's change uh, this to be, oh, I don't know, 97 and 2, which should give us, if my arithmetic works, 99. Hit the play button, runs the service, lickety split. That was a call out to Node Red and back again. We look at our output of our I've lost the output of our uh, BPM. Here's the response, 97 and 2 is 99, and the same response shown in the node red environment because of the debugging mechanism. So as we see, invoking node red is no more and no less than treating it as a SOAP service. And since SOAP is native, out of the box, supported in BPM, no magic is required here. Just point it to your SOAP service and we're done. The SOAP service is built into that SOAP component. The input is a single string, whatever you define that string to be, we pass in a string called payload and we get out a string called payload. Whatever you pass in is passed in as the string input into the node red flow. In this case, I know that it's going to be a JSON encoded string, I decode it and I do some work on it. But hopefully, rather than, you know, obviously adding two numbers is not a particularly interesting piece of technology, but hopefully you can see that this has bridged the gap between BPM and Node Red input. And once we've bridged that gap, whatever we do in the Node Red flow, not only the, uh, the built in nodes, but also the other nodes which are freely available, and there are many, many, many nodes available that are contributed by the community, we can invoke those node red nodes with inside our arbitrary message flow. Very exciting stuff. I hope you found this interesting, and I look forward to making more technical tutorials for you in the future. Thank you now. Bye-bye.